The following presentation will discuss adaptive learning as an emerging technology in teaching and training. Information covered will include defining adaptive learning and how it works, how it has evolved, what it looks like today and some current uses, an analysis of the technology, and emerging technologies in adaptive learning. Sometimes used interchangeably with differentiated, personalized, and individualized learning, adaptive learning tools can be separated from these by defining them as an educational technology that can respond to a student's interactions in real time by automatically providing the student with individual support. Adaptive learning technologies use real-time data collection, automatic responses, and redirection based on the learner's unique choices. By tracking responses, adaptive learning tools respond to learners' needs by changing the learning path to suit unique individual behaviors and answers. This differs from other learning tools and instructional strategies that provide one path for all learners. There are three ways in which adaptive learning tools adapt or respond to learners in real time. Based on a learner's specific answers, Tools with adaptive content respond with hints, feedback, or other resources related to that area of content. Tools with adaptive assessment change the difficulty level of the questions based on the responses to previous questions. Tools using adaptive sequence collect real-time data and analysis to change the sequence of what the learner sees next. A common path for adaptive sequence would look like this. Meet Mary and Joe. Mary and Joe are classmates learning about triangles. After watching a video about triangles, Mary and Joe practice what they have learned. As they practice, the tool saves every click they make and the answers they submit. The tool analyzes what both learners did on the platform. It seems triangles are easier for Mary than for Joe. Mary will get a new lesson on spatial geometry. Joe will get support with basic shapes. Although an emerging technology, the concept of adaptive learning is not new. Adaptive learning technology has its roots in behaviorism, which assumes a passive learner whose behavior is shaped through positive or negative reinforcements. Behaviorist B.F. Skinner developed a teaching machine composed of a system of combined teaching and test items that carried the students gradually through the material to be learned. It taught through a response reward mechanism. The rise of artificial intelligence in the 1970s brought Skinner's dream closer to reality. AI was founded on the claim that human intelligence can be so precisely described that the machine could be built to simulate it. During the early days of AI, however, prohibitive costs stalled the development of adaptive learning platforms for another decade. That said, the teaching machine restarted ideas about personalized and individualized learning while also influencing technological developments in instructional programs and computer-assisted instruction. In the decades after the introduction of AI, educational technologies continuously transformed. Computer-aided instruction emerged in the 1990s and offered drills and practices, tutorials, and simulation activities. In the early 2000s, learning management systems were implemented to administer and deliver educational opportunities through a secure, centralized system. Massive online open courses gained popularity in 2011 by delivering learning content online to individuals, anywhere, anytime. Today, adaptive e-learning technologies largely driven by corporations and developers, provide a personalized, technology and data-driven approach that responds and adapts to the individual learner's needs. Where are we at with adaptive technologies? With a focus on data and analytics, adaptive learning is part of a suite of emerging technologies linked to personal learning environments. All the combined online human-created data is called big data. Everything we do online creates data. We create, consume, and share data on devices and platforms that is shared with interconnected machines that store, serve, aggregate, and share that data. Educational data mining mines student data to identify student behaviors within a course. 
Predictive analytics track learner progress with a focus on engagement, retention, and content redesign. EDM is commonly used in large-scale course delivery, such as MOOCs. Adaptive learning platforms gather student data and track individual progress to provide adaptive learning pathways, intelligent tutoring systems, and gamified learning opportunities. An example of current use is wearables, which are improving personal wellness with adaptive learning. Wellness, fitness, and nutrition-based applications are using adaptive learning to create customized plans to improve people's health. Based on health assessments, the user's goals, and their commitment level, these applications build unique programs designed to optimize the user's workout or meal plan. They utilize wearables like Fitbit, Garmin, and Food Tracker applications to monitor the user's progress and adjust some recommendations based on the user's performance. Example 1, Wellness and Adaptive Learning for Personal Use BodBot is an adaptive learning program that acts as a personal trainer, nutritionist, and coach. Users sign up for free, and BodBot develops a personalized plan based on the user's goal, whether that be lose fat, gain muscle, or improve health. Their fitness tests allow the application to adjust its recommendation based on the user's strengths and weaknesses, providing immediate feedback and assistance to ensure a safe workout. But wait, there's more. Each day BotBot asks the user how they are feeling and uses that as a gauge to determine how intense the day's workout would be. If the user logs in a large amount of food, the application suggests more intense workouts to work off the extra calories. BotBot's integration with Fitbit also allows it to track your sleep and tailor exercise routines to that. The workouts continually adapt with the user's data and progress. Analyzing Adaptive Learning Technologies While the teaching machine was based on behaviorism, adaptive learning systems align more with constructivism, which highlights learner control. Rather than analyzing behavior, adaptive learning systems recognize the difference of each learner and adapt to their needs. Where the content provided by the teaching machine was the same for each learner, adaptive learning systems change the way content is presented based on the learner's needs. There are criticisms of adaptive learning systems as well. Opponents suggest there is no one true way to collect information, and the type of data to collect is debated. What information is needed to create the best learning model? How should it be collected? Besides content, what other aspects of learning should be adaptive to the learner? Potential problems with technological components of the system is also a concern, as is expecting the facilitator to be an expert on troubleshooting those issues. Pedagogically, adaptive learning technology replaces the traditional classroom model of in-person instruction. How does this change the instructor's role? While studies show student completion times are quicker on single courses, there is little research in how well they would do with several courses based on this model, and there is no evidence of higher order learning. Given the uncertain long-term payoff and the considerable upfront investment, adaptive technologies could be seen as a cost prohibited venture. Where are we going with adaptive learning technologies? Adaptive learning and related technologies continue to evolve. Where is it going as an emerging technology? Deep learning is machine learning that integrates machine and human environments. Human interactions are input as data. Deep learning uses analytics to analyze that data. Artificial intelligence uses data to learn tasks without being explicitly programmed. The AI predicts the learner behavior and adapts to customize the learner's pathway by creating tasks for the learner. Devices and wearables will provide more opportunity to collect data to optimize learning. They will send data to teachers to track learner engagement using biometrics, and they will integrate learning into our personal lives using schedules developed through analysis of life context and space. 
Adaptive learning has become a leading contender for the most important disruptor in education of the future. Potentially replacing the traditional classroom model of in-person instruction, it is also the catalyst for bringing about more equitable access to high quality education, is the mechanism for bringing about a personalized education system, and circumvents the political battles that have historically been at the center stage of education reform. In a personalized education system, adaptive learning has the potential to disrupt the learning space in three ways. Student preparation, educator trainer effectiveness, and administrative efficiencies. While overall improving pedagogy and transforming the learner from a passive receiver of knowledge to a collaborator in the educational process. Adaptive learning technologies are continuously developing personalized technology with a data-driven approach that responds and adapts to the individual learner's needs. 